you doing? I'm fitting to go down here to uh, the uh, cut place. I told y'all because I don't be getting my hair done. One, my hair be too short. My hair be so short that I the only thing I do is get the sides and the, you know the back and all that other stuff straightened up. So I don't be doing all that. Either I'ma slick it to the front or slick it to the back. Whatever the case, or I get the lady to dye my hair, whatever the case, right? Because I don't like going to the hairdresser. I ain't been to the hairdresser since the 30s because I don't have ADHD, but I get it as soon as I sit up underneath that goddamn hairdryer. That hairdryer is the damn devil. And every time I sit under, think about sitting underneath that goddamn hairdryer, I be like, no, ninja, no. I know my baby. Y'all know I got a sister down here. You know, well, I got a couple of sisters, but, um, um, uh, the best that I got, baby, I'm sorry. I know you be doing all the heads down there in, um, Philly. That's my Philly Rocky. That's what I call her, Philly Rocky. Oh, no, Philly Rock. That's what I call her. But um, I know, baby, I know you're a hairdresser, and that's how you've been getting all your things done and paying all your things for days, baby. But I can't sit under the hairdryer. I just can't do it. Baby, if I was up in Philly, I might do it, baby, for you because you're my sister, you know. You know, so at any rate, enough talking about the best that I got, enough talking about her. Let's talk about this. Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon at Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Now, let's talk about what the hell is going on here now with you nigga news on a Wednesday. So, y'all, I know you like Nay. I want to see your face. I want to know what color lipstick you got on today. I know that. I know, y'all. But look, I ain't in the mood, y'all. I ain't in the mood. So let's start this off, right? Let's start it off with this. I talked a little bit about Lala Anthony, and I got some mixed comments on the other video that I did. Some of y'all was like, no, she ain't got to accept that baby. Some of y'all was like, it's her duty to accept that baby. My stance on it is, Lala Anthony, that is your baby. You be the pappy, okay? If Carmelo ain't the pappy, you the pappy, okay? That you is that lady whole baby mama. Do you understand me? The way I feel about it is when you accept the man back, you accept the wrongs and the rights back with him. And the baby, you know, yeah, he, you know, he fucked up. He had a whole love child on there with you. But, you know, I don't know. I ain't never been in no situation where, you know, somebody didn't had a... Well, I can't say that. I can't say that. So let me shut the fuck up. But would I accept a child? I would. You know, most of y'all are like... Well, it's actually half and half. Some women like, fuck that baby. I don't mean to say it like that. But for real, some of y'all ladies just like, yeah, F that baby. I'm like... Jesus, y'all motherfuckers were taking a straight cat, but you won't take in a love child. Y'all women is 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 is, 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 is uh, vicious. Damn, y'all is vicious, child. Tell me below because I really feel like you have to when you accept somebody back, you accept their flaws with it. Now I know that Lala ain't that one of them kind of people to be like, nah, I don't give her no money either. Give her the. I, I can't believe that she is hitting that girl with the double whammy. Like, you know, give her the bare minimum for the baby. And I don't want the baby to know his brother. Or is it a girl? Yeah, know her brother. Now, that'll be fucked up. La la. You know. But, you know, it might be like, what's the, who else did that? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy had a whole baby um, over there to the UK. Child, he don't even pay, acknowledge that baby. Do you hear me? He don't even acknowledge that baby, but he pay that child support faithfully. Okay? Faithfully. Child, who else do that? I forget. Who else be doing that to somebody else? Had a whole love child, pay the child support faithfully, but don't have a relationship with their brothers and sisters. Who else is there? Oh, P. Diddy. We was talking about, we've been talking about him enough, child. But P. Diddy, he was another one that the lady had to, you know, damn near drag his ass to court for him to admit that that was his love child when he was with Kim Porter. Child. 
Okay, let's move on from this. So then let's move on to this. Tiny hearse. We don't believe you. You need more motherfucking people. You know why, Tiny? Because there has been a rumor out here for years. They say that Kevin Hunter has a two-inch pickle. They say that, um, who else has a two-inch pickle? Um, Shaq got a two-inch pickle. They be trying to stick it everywhere. And all these people got two-inch pickles, and they be trying to stick that shit everywhere, okay? They say that Diddy got a two-inch pickle. And he be trying to stick it everywhere. And they say that T.I. got a two-inch pickle. And be trying to stick it everywhere. So they have a picture. And I'm going to put it in the, uh, what is that? The thumbnail. And it was a picture of T.I. He was walking. Okay. And Tiny commented, all I see is my man's pickle. I don't believe that. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That man must got a, you know, a roll of nickels or a roll of quarters in his pants because I don't believe it. I have never, ever seen it. Because you know the style now is for the men to be wearing them pants, you know, and then you would look at the man and tell what's really going on or really what's not going on. And she basically, like, was like, Dad, that's my man right there. You call, when I say that's called public relations, crises management, that's a whole crazy management post right there. Child burn. Say what you want to, Tiny. We all know that T.I. is around here hunching every person in the universe, okay, with a two-inch pickle, okay? Now, before I move on, guys, don't forget to like this video because it is so important to my success here on YouTube, Okay? Thank you so much. And keep this in mind, guys. Whatever it is I'm saying, yes, I've received this information from the gossip blogs and, you know, the newspapers. They don't even have newspapers no more. But, you know, I've received this information from the gossip blogs. I don't know if it's true or not. I really don't care. My purpose here is just to make you laugh. And I don't mean to offend none of you huzzies that I'm talking about. The huzzies or the huzzos. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, offend none of y'all. These are just jokes right so let's move on to one pickle to the next pickle child tmz called digimon hansu that's right digimon hansu that motherfucker that old fine big ass fucking african who was digimon hansu what was he i can't even remember the last time he had a job but you know digimon and kamora lee had a little son together kenzo now, when them two got together, I was like, wait a minute, Kamara, bitch. You been a whole gold digging, half blazing or blazing since you got on the scene. You hear me? Because remember when she started, she was old Chanel Muse. I said, ooh, with that fat neck. And you know how y'all be trying to tell me, now you got a fat neck. Child, depends on how many goddamn potted donuts I eat that day. Okay. But she came on the scene bony as fuck with a fat ass neck. I mean, shit. I know you got some lipo in that neck. Come on. Because once you got that fat neck, that neck fat is hard as fuck to lose. And I ain't even going to lie. But it ain't stop her from making no money. And it ain't stopping me from making no money either, right? But off of Kamora Lee's neck, right? So TMZ called Digimon Hatsu and was like, hey, how was your father's day? Digimon said it was some shit. She, they said, what? TMZ said, what? Digimon Hansu, you got a whole baby down there with the Kamora Lee. He said, I can't remember the last time I seen my baby. You know why? Because you ain't got no money, man. We knew that. We knew that. When she got with him, I was like, why is she with him? It must be the pickle. It must be she like to wake up and look at him every day. Not that he hasn't had some, you know, some jobs. But, she, you know, as far as acting, because he, you know, and a model and stuff like that. But we don't see him around here, like, working every day, all day. It ain't like he had a whole movie to himself. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got money like that. When I seen them two together, I was like... It must be the pickle. Because why is Kamora Lee with him? And just like I thought, as soon as they broke up, Kamora Lee is like, Ninja, I am done with you. I am finna find me a whole rich white man billionaire, and we gonna raise this baby without you and your money. I don't believe that Digimon Hansu could even really pay child, child support like that. 
Think about it. What is the last movie that you've seen him in? Like, I'm going to find a picture of him so y'all can see him. He's fine now. He is fine. He's like up there with Idris Elba fine. He was the first Idris Elba. He was the first African black mother sucker that we was like, Jesus, clutching my pearls. Where is my pearls so I can clutch them, baby? But he didn't soar like how Idris Elba soared. I don't know why, because he, he fine as shit. You know, now y'all know I'm married to a whole woman. Don't start no bullshit. But I am a Libra, and I know what's fucking beautiful, okay? So, hold on. So, let's move on to Wendy Williams. Wendy, girl, you is loving that. You is loving that little boy. I mean, she is around town. Like, some people's like, that's an escort, nay. I don't believe it. She need more people. She may do. I don't believe it either. But at least she's proven a point. She's getting out there, got her something younger. I don't know, cause some, you know, the gay men say that he a whole trade out here. I don't know. You know, I live down here in Atlanta. You know, you don't really know what's trade and what's not trade. Like down here, I don't, maybe because I'm married, I don't even really look because you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Some trades you can look at and you can see that up. Oh, there it go, right there. But down here, it's just so hard to tell. So I don't even look at these motherfuckers. I don't even, I mean, I'm married, but I don't even be like, oh, is he? Because down here in Atlanta, you can't really care about that shit. You know, you if you're a straight woman and you living in Atlanta, you just need to be prepared to just think also that there's a possibility that the man that you getting ready to exchange numbers with is bisexual. That's the way I look at it down here in Atlanta. Okay. But excuse me, guys, my allergies is killing me. But, um, Wendy Williams, girl, I mean, do your thing, do whatever it is that you want to do. Now, I think you could have got an old rapper. I will never stop saying that. Wendy Williams, you need an old good old rapper. But I think she, you know, really just want somebody who reminds her of Kevin. Now, y'all say that the little boy looked like Kevin, but I think, does he look like Kevin to y'all? Do y'all think he look like big Kevin? Because Seven Stars had was the first person to um, break the story. And she said that the dude looked like Kevin. And I was like, no, not to me, not to me. But did y'all, do y'all think her new boo boy toy looked like Kevin? I don't think so. So, and that's dangerous to me anyway. When you getting somebody or messing with somebody because somebody looked like the old person, child, we all did it because we were still heartbroken. You replace them with the runner up. So then that way you don't feel so heartbroken. And for real, you end up breaking that person's heart, child. I done broke so many damn people in my heart. I'm still repenting to this day. I'm still repenting, y'all. I need some, guys, child, bang. So then let's get to the seriousness. Or, you know, I'm going to try for it not to be funny, right? But sometimes shit just be coming out funny and I'd be so serious, right? So we're talking about the Dominican Republic. There has now been nine people that have died down there to the Dominican Republic resort. From what I understand, it's the same result. And you know I told y'all that's a whole goddamn hostel down there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the movie Quentin Tarantino Hostel, okay? They was down there chopping up like Americans and everything. They was, you know, luring the Americans in with vagina, okay? And these men think they about to go into the hostel and get some vagina or some, you know, Russian or Swedish or Scandinavian or Ukrainian vagina child. And they be on the table about to get chopped up. You hear me? But they're saying that they... they they saying that they're trying to link it to some kind of alcohol that was down there. People down there thinking that they, you know, getting some vodka or something. And for real, they getting poisoned. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? See, I don't know, guys. If any of y'all got a trip coming up with the DR or to the DR, because you know what they do, right? You know, you know what they do down there. They go down there and they have them old good Manigi Twizzy time if you know what i'm saying them men's be going down there because they know they can get them a whole menagee twizzy for about 20 whole dollars okay and then the women's don't go nowhere okay y'all if you mad at your boyfriend 
And he been getting on your nerves lately. I would say book his ass a trip to the DR. That's what I would say. Book his ass a whole trip. You know his ass been down here to the America cheating on you. All you got to do is be like, baby, I didn't book you a trip. If the motherfucker don't know what's going on, like if he don't read the newspaper or, you know, watch the blogs or something, I'd be like, baby, I booked you a whole trip to the DR. Down there to, you know, the La Quinte Hostel. That's what I would do, motherfucker. And he'd be like, yeah, I'm about to have me a good old time. Child, and you been collected the goddamn, uh, what is that? The damn uh, life insurance. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to thumbs up this video because it is so important to my success here on YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up is the same people that you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.